Hey guys, welcome to the second week of Charlotte Football Insiders Football Playoffs. Um, Coach Grice, thank you once again for joining us. This here. is Matt Morrow. Um, we're going to start off with Richmond and Huff, guys. Give me your thoughts. All right. Uh, of course, the number one seed Richmond coming off the bye week. Um, I know they're excited to play. Uh, we've heard some different scuttle on different media <laughs> platforms about uh, them and their defense. And um, I will tell you that uh, you can't necessarily base um, your thoughts off one game on the, uh, the entirety of what a team could do defensively. So our support is behind Richmond and everything they do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, my thoughts real quick. Um, Huff coming in here, you know, shut down Olympic last week, I thought was a, a very impressive game. Sheree, I know you were there. Well, actually, both of y'all were there. Yeah. Right, what what were y'all thoughts on Huff? Um, you know, Olympic, I think they just they weren't ready for for Huff. Huff had a lot of offense going. They had four different people score touchdowns for that game. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think that, you know, they, you know, they, they gave it to Olympic a little bit. Um, but what they're going to have to do going forward is they're going to have to use that, you know, offense if they're going to be able to do something against Richmond, who's a pretty tough team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I think, you know, that off Olympic game, it, you know, kind of went about as I expected. I mean, you know, I think that Olympic is very talented and, you know, a good football team. But I mean, as we always talk about, the IMEC, you know, is real. And I think this is another chance for the conference to really show what makes the conference great. I mean, I think you saw Olympic strength being neutralized by a tough defensive line, by, you know, a good defense uh, there up there. Huff. And then offensively, I mean, I, you could really tell that it seemed that Olympic was a little out of, out of its element when defending a true passing attack. And I thought that the, both of those items were on display and I think led to really significantly contributed to the score. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you don't know much about Richmond, you know, they got a really good quarterback in Caleb Good. Um, I think their offensive line is one of the biggest around. I mean, we talking about the rival of the size of Mallet Creek's O line. Um, and they can move on, on top of that. Uh, defensively they're pretty quick in their front seven. And, you know, a lot of people talk about them playing man coverage in the secondary. Well, I mean they got some talented players back there and I think they can play man or zone, you know, depending on, you know, what the matchup looks like. I think the big thing from Huff is I know uh, Ocean got hurt uh, last week, yeah. and um, if he's going to be okay to play, if not, you got the young phenom freshman Hudson uh, yeah. came in. I think he threw two touchdown passes last week. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, for him, this is a big step up in environment going to, you know, if he has to play, you know, going in and to play in a, a Richmond County, I mean, that, that fan base is going to be on fire. And, you know, can he handle something like that if he has to, you know, step in and lead that team? Yeah, and I mean, I think the big thing for for them, and I could see with, and of course, you know, I haven't watched film a little on him with, I think it was the Butler game in which um, he had to step in there for, for Ocean for a little bit. Baker is pretty confident in what he likes with him. I mean, I think that was indicative in the last touchdown to uh, to Sutton. I think it was to make it 28. That was a four verts call against a single high safety. So, I mean, that's not a call that you make with a guy that you're a little nervous about what he can do and about how he can throw the football. So, I, I think he's shown that, and, uh, you know, it's always the March Madness thing is with the end of the year. Freshmen really aren't freshmen anymore, you know, kind of always the saying. So, he's proven his medal. He's played against top opponents. I mean, of course, Richmond is taking that to another the level but I think the bigger thing for me in this game <clears throat> excuse me is that they've got to have another guy step up um if I were to go actually look at the stat sheet I mean I wouldn't doubt that uh Devin Chandler was targeted about 15 times out there um he made some great plays he's a fantastic receiver but I think the bigger thing is with Chandler in the past game prior in the run game we've got to have that next guy to step up out there um you know for Huff especially if you're talking about main coverage the big thing that I'm sure Richmond's going to do is try to take away five and allow the other guys to beat them and, and that's Kind of crazy saying that, of course, with Evan Pryor also in the game. But, you know, I really think that the passing offense in, in the playoffs and, and really getting that ball down the field is going to be the difference. I think Evan, of course, everyone knows he's going to make plays and he's going to have his say in the game. But through the air is going to end up being, I think, the defining factor of who takes this game. And like you said, the injury report is going to be the biggest story in this matchup, though, this week. Yeah, and then, you know, the, the Huff secondary having to, you know, face a little bit more of a challenge this week on the more run team. We know Richmond can really throw the football with Hood and, you know, his receivers out there. Um, can they, you know, hold up, 
you know, and not, you know, struggle too much against that. I think this has the makings of a, a, a real fun game if you like offense. I agree, and I think that the best part about this is Huff is peaking at the right time. And I, mean, I know I go back and think of last year, and of course, you know, Huff taking uh, taking out Mallet Creek in the playoffs. I mean, it kind of has that same feel. I, you know, I laugh and, and think about, you know, kind of the makings of how this works is where Huff in the beginning or, you know, and, it's, and it wasn't the beginning last year, of course, with a great start, but for a certain period, you weren't sure if they were going to, you know, reach to reach the heights of every, what everyone thought. I mean, it kind of has that same feel here, and that doesn't necessarily mean I'm predicting a Huff win, but I definitely think you're going to get the best out of Huff as, I mean, you know, taking on a tough Vance team then coming out here in a game with Olympic, and even though, you know, Olympic really controlled the ball early, you really started to see the class of Huff as they began to take over, and I mean, all of your usual suspects with Chandler, Pryor, you know, even with Ted thrown in there, to Sutton. I mean, all of their their stars began to take over. So you like a team peaking, at, you know, at the right time. And I think that you know, we talk about passing. I mean, one of the finest D coordinators against the pass is, is right there on that off sideline at Chachi Sullivan. So and it'll be a test for Richmond to prove what they do right. best. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.